Is it pretty? It's beautiful. I want to know, why are you dressed like this? Wait. <laughs> Don't! Step on my dress! <laughs> this dress is expensive. Cost me a month's salary. <sighs> Spending so much. To please me? Hmm? Who said it's to please you? Aren't you attending Mr. Lee's birthday? He is a major client of our Ark. He's our bread and butter. If I don't dress up, how can I show the Ark's regard for him? Oh. Mr. Wei, look. I've also prepared so much material. <sighs> I've pulled several all-nighters for this. You might not be able to attend. The dinner party this time. Why? Didn't you promise? That Mr. Lee's orders will be handed over to me? It's a different matter. The work coordination with Mr. Lee will still be handed to you. The birthday dinner is a private invitation. Mr. Lee will bring his wife. And for me, bringing you might not be appropriate. It's basic social etiquette. Private parties are boring. My main purpose of attending is to help maintain a good relationship with Mr. Lee for you. Once this project is successful, won't it be enough for your promotion credentials? Right? Wei Ming, what do you need for the dinner party? Tell me. I'll arrange it for you. Do you know... your biggest strength? You're considerate. Okay. You should head home early. I'll finish the remaining slides. For you. You look so beautiful. I wouldn't bear to. Bring you to the dinner party. For others to admire. You're mine. Whenever you're back to being single. Whether at home. Or at the office. I'll be that person who understands you the most. Coming. Hello, here's your package. Hey. Thank you. Not a problem. So pretty! Hello? Did you receive the clothes? Mm. Why would you order them? Tomorrow afternoon, you accompany me to Mr. Lee's birthday party. I can't tomorrow. I need to take Guogo to the amusement park. Tell Guogo we'll accompany her next time. Mr. Lee is now my most important client. Which is more important, client or daughter? Of course, my daughter is more important. Our company's vice president left. The new vice president will be chosen between me and Feng Kai. Did you get the clothes? Originally, Wei was supposed to take me tomorrow, but something came up on my end, so I'm counting on you now. By the way, the dress was chosen based on my size. I'm not sure if it'll fit you. You know, a lot of things in life are like clothes. 
If it doesn't fit and you force it, you just end up looking ridiculous. Right, Lin Shuang? Tomorrow afternoon, we'll meet directly. I'll send you the address on WeChat. I have to go, bye. Guogu, time to stop playing. All right. Although this dress is pretty and stunning. However, it doesn't really suit you, Mon. What's not suitable about it? It's my work attire for tomorrow. What does work attire exactly mean? Work attire means the dress I have to wear because of work. Oh. Go, go. Tomorrow I'll drop you off at Grandma's. All right. Here, continue drawing. Honey, you look beautiful today. Really? This gown suits you so well. It's stunning. I usually don't wear this kind of style. Even Guogo knows that. A change in style once in a while makes a deep impression. Glad I chose it for you. You chose it for me. But you got a size too small. Had I not taken it to adjustments, your efforts would have been wasted. That's on me. It's been a while since I shopped for you. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad. This client tonight is extremely important to me. You'll be my secret weapon. Over here, two lovely ladies. Thank you. Beautiful scenery, fine wine. We must get Mr. Lee tipsy tonight. To getting tipsy. Cheers, Wei. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Good. Showcasing love. Good. Showcasing love. What a perfect match. Sorry, Mr. Lee. Sister-in-law, sorry we're late. No worries. Wei, confident in your good looks? Your arrival put on a romance for everyone. Well, we haven't even had dinner. But we're full of your couple goals. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me introduce everyone. This is the director of ARC's product department, Mr. Wei. This is my old friend, Mr. Ma. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ma. Mr. Wei, pleasure. Wei from ARC. All right. This is Mr. Wang. Mr. Wei, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Wei, why not introduce your wife? My wife, Lin Shuang. She was my college classmate, a former colleague at ARC. Now she's dedicated herself to our home. Ah, oh. One focuses outside, the other inside. A match of talent and beauty. A perfect duo. <laughs> Mr. Ma, always poking fun at me. Obsessed with work, but it can't be just work all the time, right? At this age... You guys don't understand. It's just that I haven't met someone as talented and beautiful as Mrs. Wei. Otherwise, why would I be single for so long? So I should learn from you. My wife, Lin Shuang, has great values, is virtuous, frugal since our marriage, and she's raised our child very well. To be honest, over all these years, she's been the shining light in my heart. 
Come on to the shining light. Cheers. To the shining light. <laughs> Lin Shuang, though a bit reserved, had many admirers, but not many pursued her. That's how Wei got his chance. I heard. His wife is clueless about romance, very practical. Always thinking of household chores. They hardly see each other. When they do, she's asking for money. If not for their child, I bet they would have split long ago. We're cutting the cake now! Come on, everyone! Cake time! How much have you drunk? Not much. Excuse us, please. Thank you, thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry. Jonathan! Huh? Is that really you? Jonathan! It's been so long. I've been here for a while, and you never reached out. That's on me. Let me introduce you. This is my wife, Lin Shuang. Lin Shuang, my close friend from abroad. Jonathan. I know of you, Lin Shuang. You were the champion of the Global University Programming Contest. We were so disappointed. You didn't come to Silicon Valley. Where are you working now? I have to know who took you, such a genuine talent from ARC. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you should stop drinking. Right now, I mostly handle mundane tasks day and night. Do some trivial things. Arranging meals for a day. Organizing clothes and sometimes driving around. <laughs> this, such a waste of your talent. What's your salary for a month? How did they get you on board? Unpaid. All in the name of love. Mrs. Wei, you have a sense of humor. Jonathan? Lin Shuang is Wei's wife. Jonathan knows. When Lin Shuang was at Ark, she was core to the business. After having the baby, she chose to step back. I deeply respect her decision. It's up to me to carry on with our dreams. Keep fighting! <laughs> Mr. Wei is a responsible man. A good husband, a good father. And a good boss. He can make his employees wholeheartedly Give without expecting anything in return. <laughs> Are you feeling the alcohol? If Mrs. Wei wants to rest, there's a makeup room there. My wife can hold her liquor very well. There's a breeze by the river. I'll take her to freshen makeup and rest. Excuse me. Still drinking? Don't you know your limits? Why are you showing off? Drink some water. Did I say something wrong earlier? I may be drunk, but I wasn't talking nonsense. Mr. Wei, is it because you've been immersed in work? And not talk with me? I know you've been taking care of our child at home, and I'm sorry for that. The sacrifices you made for this family and our child. I've always noticed. That's why I've been trying to compensate. I work so hard. Entertaining clients, all to earn more money. So that you can be comfortable at home and not have to haggle over pennies like other women. I know. Lately, I've been too wrapped up in work, neglecting your feelings. I don't want to work overtime. I'd rather be at home, spend time with you and our child. But who will earn money to support the family? I can. Weiming, have you forgotten? I gave up my own career, willingly became a homemaker, so you could work without worries. Why does it now sound like I'm just enjoying my life at home at the expense of your hard work and bitterness?
wife. In pregnancy and childbirth, I can't replace you. But resigning, becoming a homemaker, those were your choices. I've always respected them. So all these years, you took care of the household, and I worked to support the family. In my eyes, you're the most responsible woman in the world. I regret it now. I thought everything would remain the same. It's all my fault. I didn't know. You've harbored so much resentment. Believe me, you're not an unpaid employee under me. You're my beloved wife. I love you. Today's gathering is very important for me and our family. It's for you, not for us. You're drunk. I'll handle Mr. Lee. I'll arrange a car for you to go home. Once you're home, remember to call me. Good girl. Behave. Are you satisfied with the evening dress? The design of the evening dress is great. It looks slightly sexy. But you did a good job. After all, you don't get to attend such occasions often. Also, the dress hem's a bit long. Poor Wei Ming had to carry me for a bit. 